Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Hermit Skies. Yes, I'm 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 hanging out in a toilet. It's it's the new mini game on the server. It's called the toilet. Um, and this is now in my base. <laughs> uh, it looks hilarious, but we're not going to be playing that today. Oh no, um, we're going to be checking out these pigmen who have decided to spawn in a big group again. Why does this keep happening? Every now and then, there's just a cluster of them, and they've always got this crazy armor on. Oh, I don't know what's up with them, but anyway, uh, as I was saying, welcome back to another episode, and for the beginning part of this episode, I'm going to dive into mechanism, and apparently I can't fly all of a sudden. Spacebar fail, that's what that was. Um, in order to get into mechanism, we need to do a whole bunch of crafting, and I literally think most of what we're going to be doing is crafting, because in this quest book, and that is the wrong key to press, isn't it? Um, and I'm looking at something else there as well. Inside of this quest book, we will see a metallurgic infuser. And I believe that a lot of mechanism is to do with processing metals and getting ingots and doubling and tripling ores and stuff like that. Which is not necessarily something we need to do. So I think as I explore this mod, I'm mostly just going to be messing around with it uh, by myself. But I think I want to dedicate this little corner over here to the mechanism machines. And we'll make a mechanism room and try and get some mechanism blocks to decorate it. There's a whole bunch of stuff down here. But the reason that we are doing mechanism is to make the reinforced watering can because we want the refined uh, obsidian ingot. Now I'm hoping to do a little bit of learning as well. You know, we want to we want to get all the quests done in the quest book, so it uh, it kind of makes sense to do this and learn a little bit about mechanism as well. So this is where I'm just going to stop recording, play for a while, and uh, I'll see what happens while I'm making these blocks. If there's anything interesting to show you or not. So this is why I wasn't terribly keen on trying to make an episode out of this straight away. I've just gone into the old. Crafting wormhole. We've got to make ourselves... Oh, I've just realised something. I need to upgrade the machine before I can put any augments in it. Well, that was a waste of time. Um, but yes, we need to create stuff to make the machines. And i got a feeling this whole mechanism thing is just going to be a crafting wormhole. So pulverised pulverized iron and pulverised coal is how you make steel. And it is a nightmare to figure this stuff out. So I went to look at the first block we need to craft to get ourselves a, uh, a quest done in the quest book and it requires steel casing and then it's like there's all these different type of ingots and you end up flicking around through here trying to figure out how you make steel dust and oh no it requires something from the the mod we're trying to make right now so anyway after searching around I found steel blend and it's this right here that it won't tell me the recipe for right now um, but you get steel blend well actually no you just do pulverized iron and pulverized coal in an induction smelter and that gives you you see it's very, it's very confusing, peeps, and this is, this is why I'm not going to try and make an episode out of it. So I am making multiple of these machines because in order to complete stuff in the quest book, we need to make uh, a stack of, well, enriched iron, which will be turned into steel, the same steel from this mod. We have to make a bunch of these enriched alloys, and then we've got to make some basic control circuits up here, and it requires osmium and some redstone. Now, the way this mod works, it would appear, is that you sort of create stuff with power but also another material right here so this carbon comes from coal and it provides that with fuel and it looks like redstone blocks is actually overkill as we have uh, a maximum amount there so I'm actually going to take that out and that should do the 55 iron into the enriched alloys and then up here this thing is osmium and redstone so I've got a feeling you can probably just put in regular redstone which appears to be the case and if we chuck that in there that thing's going to get filled all the way to the top so next up is uh, all of the machines, and all of these have been pretty simple to craft, just doing the next one right here. Not really sure what all of these do, but I've got a feeling we're going to learn as the quests will require us probably to use those things there. So if we open up our quest book now, we'll see that we've done all of these around here. Uh, nothing complicated to get any of those materials. This one right here, the circuits, is crafted out of the, the original circuit and the enriched core right there. So we've got a whole bunch of uh, loot chests to claim, and what we'll probably do is in the next episode, once we've got loads of these together, we'll go through another binge of uh, opening all of these. So the enrichment chamber was one of the machines that I missed. I've made that, and now it unlocks these things. We've got to make all four of these. So very simple stuff, just put the material into there. However, when it comes to compressed obsidian, you need some refined obsidian dust. And where do we get that from? Uh, we get it from the metallurgic infuser with some diamonds over here. But then I sort of realized we can just use a pulverizer and take some refined obsidian. In fact, I think I've already got some pulverized obsidian in here because I just went and pulled some out. And that's me successfully managing to press the wrong buttons. 
Yeah, we might be able to get away with just chucking that straight inside the metallurgic infuser. Let's see if it'll accept it quickly. Um, no. Okay, it's not doing anything, so it's a good thing we made this. And no surprise, uh, that doesn't work because this thing has redstone in it. So I'm now kind of curious. What happens if we break this block and put it back again? Does it remember its contents? It doesn't. It loses its status. So we can put that in there. That gives us some diamond. And I oh, well, put the wrong thing in, haven't I? That should get going now. No, apparently I've missed a step. Aha, right, yeah, we just put the pulverized stuff in. Hey, I like this block. I like the, the animation, the particle cortex, the sound. It's really cool. Ah, okay, one sapling makes two biofuel. Well, to make another machine right here, uh, we need some biofuel. Look at that bio generator. So that's another one crossed off the list. Bam, and that is the digital miner done. We are getting really deep into this stuff. The crafting recipe for this, all kinds of things. These atomic alloys take a bit to make. But we are breezing through all of this now. In fact, we unlocked something over here, this Eulorium steel, because we needed steel there. So we can go and claim that and we can check out uh, this and perhaps craft up all of this stuff to complete another quest. But if we go back to the mechanism part of the book, um, you'll see that we're really getting through this now. I'm going to make these circuits next. That should be nice and easy. And then we're left with this HDPE, which I think is going to be tricky because it involves making liquids and stuff for this thing. So that's where I think things will get a little bit complicated. But other than that, we've pretty much done all the stuff for mechanism. So I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do in this room up here, as I'm yet to see uh, what I could use mechanism for. But uh, there is a windmill. <laughs> it's not spinning, probably because it's blades half in the roof. But that thing is kind of interesting. Got a little interface there. Yeah, not really sure what I'm going to do with that. Okay. <clears throat> I'm ready when you are, again. sir. One second. Are you drinking tea again? I am. I'm also clearing my throat. I've got, like, first thing in the morning, fog in the throat. Oh, yeah, I know it. I'm just going to gargle just some to, tea. Yeah, just got to stop eating frogs. That's it. <laughs> tea. <laughs> Did you actually just gargle tea? It's Yeah, it's a well-known uh, British thing for helping frogs in the throat. Listen, I'm so much better now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to gargle tea next time I drink some. It's nice. It makes makes the world a difference. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so wrong, but I can't help but feel I'd like it. It sounds uh, so wrong, but it feels so right. Exactly. <laughs> uh, tea gargling, ladies and gentlemen. Tea gargling. <laughs> Hello. Hi. How Hi. you doing? I'm all right. I'm thinking about gargling tea. <laughs> so that that is an excellent idea. Doctor Biffer says one one apple a day plus a tea gargle keeps the doctor away. <laughs> keeps keeps Doctor <laughs> Biffer away. <laughs> yeah, but I'm here. Ooh. Oh dear. <laughs> How uh, are you? I'm good, thanks. It's been a while since we've teamed up, hasn't it? It is, yes. But uh, I feel what, feel what right at doing? home again, hanging out with me old oh. tea drinking partner. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. The tea's been drunk. I finished it before I've recorded. Oh, no. Do you know what I've just realised? <laughs> I was about to say I haven't drunk a tea today. Right, I do this every morning. I make a cup of tea. <laughs> I go upstairs. I'll be down in ten minutes to pick it up. And I forget. And it's been there probably for about uh, two hours now. It's just sitting you're there. You're like my wife. She does that all the time. <laughs> it's so easy to forget. Like, Oh, my uh, goodness. Whatever. I'll put it in the microwave. Shocking. I'll heat it so up. So you've come to have a, you've come to have a, heat up the microwave. That's it. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> I've come Leave to have a tour base. around your base, I have. Yes. You want to come and have a look? Why don't you come over here to the farming area? Oh, oh I was just heading down a ladder. Hi. You can fly if you like. Yeah, I'll fly me. then. On. Go Hang on, on then. You give it. You sh oh, right. oh, I see I'm what there. you're doing. <laughs> Wait, how did you do that? Why can't I do that? <laughs> I'm oh. here. You're if there. you um, do you enjoy frames per second in your videos? Um, no, nah, we don't really need them. You know, well, slideshows are great. Here, They're then. the new thing. <laughs> the toilet game. Have you ever um, have you ever messed around with this thing? You can you can get it to yes. like, explode and make some woo sounds as it falls out of the yeah. sky and. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> He's great. Frank. Have you met Frank. Him? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, yeah, th these these are the top tier growth mm. crystals. Mm -hmm. And you've got a heck of a lot of them. I How just decided so to go mad because I wanted emeralds and then of course I've started mining them like everybody else. But until then <laughs> I was farming them like nobody's business. 
And you got lily pads. Mm-hmm. Lily pads of yep. fertility. Ah, okay. Mm. Yeah, this this now, is this is um... a bit crazy right here, but uh <laughs> It is. It's not. It's not efficient at all because the the, the poor little harvester in the middle can't keep up. Um, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Have you put the range upgrade in it? Yeah, the range yeah. upgrade slows it down. Um, unfortunately, yeah. what you might want to do is just change it so you've got nine of them like overlapping. Then then it might actually keep mm. up. But uh, I'll be honest with you now. I'm sort of past <laughs> the farming. I've got so much stuff. I yeah. <laughs> probably just Wait, turn them all off. <laughs> when I stand here, I can see the crops growing and getting harvested. Like they grow so quickly. There's like this little track yep. where they whiz down. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> that's really cool. <laughs> but it is good. It is good fun to mess around with anyway. But yeah, this is my farming area. Farming. Are you everything farming almost. everything from Mr. Agriculture or just like a no. few key things? Yeah. I went, yeah, I went through a few things, and every time I needed something, I'll stick it on the farm, leave it overnight, come back the next day, and have forty-seven million of them. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. <laughs> I use sieves myself. Done. I use sieving to get all the main materials for crafting stuff. Oh, I thunder. did have. Huh? That's Sorry, okay. I've got a rain thundering. shield, so we'll be fine. <laughs> that's all. Right, um, I did use the sieving stuff, but I had this over here. This was like the first part of my base that I started up. I had like an automated hammering and sieving system, and didn't take long to sort of get past it so i don't use this anymore yeah um i haven't really like gone past it I, i've just found that once you filled up your storage drawers with all the materials you don't really need to sieve again you just like yeah I don't know, not, not a lot of the stuff i've done in this pack has really required a lot of resources yet but then i haven't done project d or anything like that so it's yeah, yeah that's the oh this little setup here this is just these are where my machines went before i started automating them so oh, okay. <laughs> i just like, dumped them all here that's that over here i've got my i was I, I sort of went through a few different iterations of power so at the minute i'm on solar power which is just completely op and i've got more power than i ever want to are do are you doing but... draconic uh solar power you know those panels where you, you keep crafting one into the neck yes you are yes. this is what i'm doing as well but mm. is this the t- this isn't the top tier one right no the chaos one's the next ah. one up but these two i can run I've got a miner over there running full speed. This thing over here. Uh, okay. What's it called? A quantum? Oh, quarry. yeah, yeah. I know this. I know this very well. There is a bug. I'll going... tell you now. There's a bug where you oh. can lose all of the items inside of it. The biomarker, the enchanted book, and the uh, the filter at random. You can, you can lose them. Oh, okay. Them. Um, oh. Just, just you know, oh, it geez, may or may not okay. happen to you. It happens to me a lot. But, oh, slightly larger That's chest. That's like a throwback to alpha. Slightly larger chest. <laughs> it's not actually slightly larger though. It is physically. It is. It takes up a full block. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. That's cool. I like that. And you can open it, even though there's something above it. You've learned something new. <laughs> Did it work like that in Alpha? I think. I think it might have worked like that in Alpha. You know. I can't remember. Ah. But I went ago. through before I got to the solar panels. I was milking cows, and under here, I must have had about twenty. Oh man, I can't even remember what I was milking them. Uh, what was I milking? Are we on about moo cows? The, yeah, the ones um, that do like different liquids and stuff. Or were you actually powering your base from milk? <laughs> Someone's been in my base and named everything the toilet game. All of my cows. I know. I know why. What's that? <laughs> I know why. Come on, come over here. Um, what there the it heck? is. You got a toilet in your base, Biffa. Oh, it's this. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'll look the other way. I feel a bit rude. <laughs> I wonder if I... I don't think I've got any animals, like, free roaming, so there's probably been nothing in my base for them to rename. <laughs> yeah, the toilet oh, okay. game. <laughs> I was thinking, what the heck? I was saying to you earlier the toilet game, and you said his name was Frank, and I thought, well, it says the toilet game. You know? Yeah, I didn't quite cotton on what was going on there, but <clears throat> oh. anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I was, uh, I was, milking, I was milking cows or whatever it was, and running them through these reactant uh, compression dynamos and doing power that way. And that worked really well. Um, and then I got a solar panel, and that was that. <laughs> the yeah. cows are obsolete. <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes sometimes. I-, I went for the solar panel straight away uh, yeah. after I did some basic like lava stuff. Oh, have I left this running? Oh, darn it, I've left this running. Turn ah, that what's off. that? Yeah, I've XP. Left, I've left, <laughs> left me XP You've been putting your running. XP into a sewer? Disgusting. Yeah, because then it runs over here, fills up this thing. Oh, I think I've... Oh, you whiz around your base very quickly. <laughs> I've been here before. <laughs> and then I can spawn whatever I need. So I've been spawning villagers. 
stalkers and ah uh, yeah using safari nets stuff like that there's, there's named items underneath my blocks here what's going on oh there's rabbits look <laughs> <laughs> I've stuck name rabbits underneath. That's brilliant. <laughs> okay, well, we'll leave them under there then. <laughs> uh, I think they're eager for us to play this game, you know. I think this, they want to, yeah. I've got this impression. Uh, um, what else have I been doing? So, yeah, I went sort of via the chest. I'm over here. Woohoo! <laughs> Behind you. Sorry, I just noticed you had a little compression thing. <laughs> yeah, I've got, I've, I did all of this for my mob drops on the uh, Cursed Earth farm. All right, yeah. So have these got upgrades the in, stuff. or are they just are they yes. all? Oh, they do have a little bit of upgrading, okay. Because yeah. that's a lot of draws. Like usually, it's like one draw per item for me is how I do it. Well, I was sort of planning to have this mob farm running all the time and have all the draws upgraded, and then have like void upgrades on them. But then, by the time I'd sort of finished all of this, I'd I'd moved on to other ways of getting stuff. So yeah. Where is the mob farm, by the way? <clears throat> Over here. Here we go. It's oh, it's the off. thing in the middle. Right. Is this dark glass yeah. or something? Dark clear yes. glass. Yeah. Okay. So we can... Oh, the I one see. thing yeah, I yeah, haven't automated... <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Manually flicking switches like a noob. Now these, yeah, these will spawn when you're right, like the player is right nearby. Yeah, um, every time I'm online, yeah. Oh, no, actually, no, no, no. It will, it will run all the time because I, even though... No, no, this, I remember what... now. I actually, I've tested this, Biffer, okay? Like, you can be here near to where they're spawning, right? So it sort of mm -hmm. ignores vanilla rules. Um, mm -hmm. But if you're not in the area, if you go 128 blocks away, it stops working. Um, and that oh, might know, be a bug based off. on how it used to work, but... I did some testing. I log offline, and when I come back, you're right, because I think that's how it should work, but I've logged off, forgot to turn my machine off, come on the next day, having a complete heart attack, thinking I've yeah. ruined the server, but it's still filled. There's like a thousand entities because my machines, or my storage is all clogged up, and there's like loot bags you know, and drops. It might, and... it might just be different per mod pack then or something, because I did the testing mm. on Fullcraft, and on there you can't leave it running unless the player is nearby. It just doesn't work. Yeah, that would be good. For servers, that would be good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I'm trying to be helpful. I'm Wait. turning it on and off. And... <laughs> there we go. So, yeah, I went through that. What else have I done? Man, oh, I've got the neutronium well, I... compressors. Yeah, neutro and... I see that, neutronium compressors. I've got some questions about what's going on at the bottom here. There's loads of, like, just blocks laid out. I know what this thing in the uh, middle is. Yeah. This yeah, is... I started to automate that. You look underneath. Oh, okay. So, I've... Yeah, I, I I sort of looked at it and I thought you can automate putting different things in there, but it's a bit of bit of a challenge because you need to mm. pull out certain amounts of materials and put them in certain locations. I think to some extent, like basically if, this. If, go on, go on. Explain. Yeah, go on. I was going to say this this chest and this ME interface here is like if you look at that as one single input, and then this one here is another single input, so you can add as many. Emmy interfaces and chests as you want, but you have to have one per recipe because, like you say, sometimes there's an item that goes into the middle, but in other recipes it goes to the edge. So you can't um, sort of set up filters that middle, work for everything. It's the middle weird. and edge shouldn't be any problem, right? Like, the, the problem is that sometimes you've got a recipe where you need one of this item, one of that item, and then four mm -hmm. of another. And if you automate yes. that, it might put four into one thing. And then that means that the crafting thing thinks you've only got one, so you need to space space them out. That's that's the problem that I saw with it. There's you can get around that if you use let's have a look. round robin, round robin, and item conduit speed downgrade upgrade. Ah, so it does one <laughs> at a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good combination. Oh yeah, that makes total sense. Then it'll do one, and it'll do because if it didn't have the downgrade, it might move four at once on mm. round robin. Ah, uh, yeah, that's... I mean, the yeah. other way to automate this system, I've seen Hypno do it, is to have just different systems for different recipes. So there's about five or six recipes that you can overlap because they all use their own items yes. and don't yeah. conflict. And then there's a few that overlap. So he just has a separate system for it. You know, um, it's an interesting challenge, and I wasn't going yeah. to bother with it myself this season, but now, now you've got me scratching my head and thinking about it. I think the biggest problem for me, though, is that I'm not really using... AE to automate or auto craft so like what yeah. would be my interface for inter like um, activating that stuff I'd have to probably make my own you know have materials could you do it with a 
exported into chests and then move them out of there intelligently, something like that. Yeah, I was thinking a crafter. Could you use one of those? Um, possibly. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll no. scratch my head about it. And I'll be interested to see how you fix that one. Oh, you asked about the blocks on the floor over here. Yes. These are for carrots. Oh, I, I know what you're on about. I haven't really gotten into that mod, though. If you plant these carrot seeds on different blocks, you get different oh. types of carrots. Wait, wait. So, so you only me... need the basic carrot seed. Am I growing it just by being... I am. Look, I'm growing it for you. Are you I was just how, much, water how much do I get paid for this? <laughs> <laughs> you can keep the carrots. Help it's good work. I'll tell you, I you will. Go, I will. So, okay. Ugh. Oh, it makes so much sense now. There you go. And if you can, you get like the lower tier. If you uh, or if you use the full, book, you get the top tier of whatever. And there's a few different ones. Yeah, look. Right, these. that's excellent. That's because I've got to do that for a quest in the book, right? And I'm looking at it, thinking I'm not really sure how this is done. <laughs> uh, but now go. we know. Awesome. Are these for me? Thank you. You can have those as well. Vain Enjoy. Doesn't... Oh, I've literally just completed that quest. <laughs> Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, awesome. Well, I learned how to do it, and then I completed. Let's get in there. Let's... I want to I wanna tick this one off. Bam. Done it. I get a loot. <laughs> Biffy, you can have this loot chest. This is yours now. Let oh, me, thanks. Uh, let me bump. Right, now get the super rare thing that everyone wants from the loot chest. <laughs> do you know what? I've got two. <laughs> I've had... No, I've had three of them. Yeah. One of them, two of them I ruined because I tried to get the looting 40 off and mess around with it. Oh, and then that sword, while yeah. I wasn't... Yeah, while I wasn't recording, I got and got a flipping. <gasps> Don't even. Don't even. <laughs> Liar. Have you got your Have you got your magnet on? I've got my magnet on. Shall I turn it let off? Let me turn my Let me turn my magnet off. You ready? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> An Invar hammer. <laughs> I got one of those last time. I opened one. You can have it. I don't want it. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> you troll. You trolled me good. <laughs> You believed oh. me, though, didn't you? Oh, For a dear. second there, yeah. But then again, I know what you're like. <laughs> so flying around your base here, we have seen a fair mm -hmm. bit of it. Um, mm -hmm. There's just lots of little machine setups that I'm not entirely sure of. I know that these are used for, uh, like, automating machines, right? Yeah, this is just to make all the, the basic sort of components for AE2 stuff, yeah. Yeah, and I can't and these, open your AE2 is... interfaces, so I don't know. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, these doing, machines, but... this side, are just for the quarry. So anything the quarry gets just runs through here. Um, yeah, it's just so every time there's like a little project you need to do, I'll up another machine sort of yeah. section for it somewhere, you know. Well, I think there's just one thing I can spot that we haven't really seen. Um, the mm. middle area mm. is kind of obviously... Um, oh, come or... here, come here. Okay, okay. Stand in there, stand in here. All right, this won't kill me. No, right. no, no, you're fine. You won't... No, 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 you'll be fine. I better not die. Okay. okay. No, 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 no. Let me get, hang on a sec, let me get some glass. Glass? No, you're fine. Okay. Nothing's going to happen. Trust me. Okay, right, flick all the levers around you. Oh, God. Oh, no. They're attacking me. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I'm being Keep attacked going. by particle effects. I'm drowning in XP, <laughs> Biffa. What have you done? <laughs> Is this like the fastest way you can pick up XP in the game? Um, I needed to copy the level 40 book in the bibliocraft stuff. I needed 1,700 levels. It <gasps> took me five days stood in that thing to get XP, to get that many levels. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm at 75, 77. It gets so slow. Once you get past like 90, it crawls so slow. It's, uh, what was it, exponential growth kind of thing? Yeah, but in reverse. Actually, I'll tell a lie. I didn't stand in it for five days. I ran it for five days. I just used these machines to pick it up. But... Ah, I see. <laughs> oh, like uh, the Ender I.O. thing to store it. Yeah, but it did take me five days. I've got like 2,200 levels in that thing now. But And where yeah. Oh, and where does uh, yeah. the XP come from? Is it liquid XP? It's uh, I'm growing the seeds over here, and then they're getting converted into XP bottles through the ME system, and then obviously just thrown like you saw. I've got, let me tell you how many bottles of XP I've got. <laughs> uh, 10 million bottles of 10 XP. 10 million you XP, like? you know. There you go. There's a stack. Got some to throw Enjoy. around, ain't you? Thank you. I think you <laughs> picked it up with your magnet, but... I just, right. I just need a wash. Hold on a sec. Oh, oh can, there we wait, go. I can interact with your inventory. <gasps> You've got a, <laughs> a sword of looting 40 on, crazy. 
<laughs> oh yeah. In oh, there, it's a I shame have. I can't. It's a shame I can't mess around with this. That would have been fun. I could have taken your items. I could have taken your ability to fly and just gone. Can just you do let... that? Can you take items? No, out I can't. But I can see everything. Uh... I don't think I can see your bobbles thing though. So I probably wouldn't have been able to take it. My bobbles. I tell you what. Bobbles, if you use this thing, <laughs> this thing's fantastic. If you look inside it, do you notice that the torches and the ender pearls, the top left, they got a red slot. Yeah. Yeah, and they're insert only, so that will always keep a stack of ender pearls and torches on me. Yes. And my teleporter thing uses ender pearls as fuel, ah. so I've always got fuel for my teleporter. That's good. Yeah, this thing would be great for keeping you stocked up on food, but I put my food on my offhand, and it doesn't support the offhand, which is a bit of a shame. Ah, oh, that's a shame. <laughs> yeah. Well, then I think we've seen most of it, right? Ah, oh, that's it. yeah. I mean, I've got the normal stuff. Everyone's got portals and things as well, but yeah. yeah. All right, then. Well, thank that you very is... much for the tour. No I'll, mm, I'll invite you welcome. over to mine now if you want to come and check out Ooh, the place. Yes, please. I'll follow you over there. All oh, right, you're going to teleport. Oh, do you know what? I can just teleport to your base. Shall I see you when you get there? Hang on. How can you do that? Hang on. I'm going to click this thing. No! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so, my friends, I hope you enjoyed the tour of Biffa's base. Uh, we actually toured mine after that. If you want to go to his channel and uh, check it out, it was a lot of fun. We had a uh, a good time hanging out together, going around the base, and uh, over here just doing some more of this mechanism stuff. And I want to say that this mod looks really interesting, but I've got no idea, like, what am I supposed to be using this for, other than what the quest book is telling me. And we are literally left with one thing, and it's probably the hardest thing of all of them. So the HDE pellet right here um, uses this PRC machine, pressurized reaction chamber. We've got to make some substrate and we get that from biofuel. So we've already made that. I actually have two of those lying around, which will make the one substrate that we need. But you can see here, we need to put water in it and then we need to put hydrogen and also ethylene, which is a little bit crazy. But here's the thing. There's a machine called an etrole... Ugh, I can't even say that. Electroliptic <laughs> uh, separator. And this thing right here, I just went and put a bucket of water in, into. Let's go grab another one and chuck it in there. And this is why I like the look of this mod. It looks like really quite some complicated stuff going on here. As you've got to move like, uh, what would you call it, airs around? Gases? You've got to move gas around. So we're getting our hydrogen and our, uh, our oxygen here. I don't know how to move it into this though. So my first thought was that what we might do is, well, that is the top side of the block, is it not? Or maybe that's the top side of the block, but then how do I configure this? Because there's no, uh, well, there is some extra things down here. Hmm, a redstone. Oh, wait, did that actually just change the amount of oxygen? No, I don't think it did. Um, but yeah, I don't know how to get these to link together. And some of you are probably screaming at the screen, and that's absolutely fine. You know, I, I've v very briefly touched this uh, mod in the past before. So mechanism. I'm going to have a look in here and see if there's anything along the line of a gas pipe. Something like that might help us move these things around. Yay! I think I just took a step forward. Uh, by the way, I spent quite some time looking for pipes or something to connect them, and it's just a case of this being really, really dark, but using a search down here in Mechanism for Pipe. Uh, it does have pipes. Those don't connect, so then I was searching for gas, and I figured that maybe what you have to do is move them in like so. So now how do we unload this into there is the next question. Um, you can see that this pipe that I've got doesn't connect. Do I perhaps put this thing alongside it maybe it'll connect if I put it at the back uh, maybe it kind of looks like it would take a pipe connection there you see that kind of black uh, square with the dotted outline well that's got it on that side where it connects and at the front here as well but how do I get that tank to now put the things into the pressurized reaction chamber aha I found another something called a tube and this does make a connection and oh well I, th I think we know that that works <laughs> Uh, but where did it go in here? Hmm, maybe it didn't actually work. Maybe I need to configure... Well, I've kind of set them all to inputs here. <sighs> Everything with this mod is just a mystery. Except there is a tab called Gases. So maybe if I set all of these to red... I mean, I'm assuming it's that one there, but it depends on the rotation of the block. Aha, we have now got oxygen into the red part here. Excellent. But is, is it the correct part? Yes, it is. Thank goodness for that. Right. We now know, now, we now know, no, no, now. Now is what we know. Jeez, I give up on talking.
Oh, this is the worst. I had to make another one of these machines because it keeps its uh, its inventory. So it's got the oxygen in there. I've pushed in water from the back and I've put in hydrogen from the side because you have to pull out that one on the opposite side. So oxygen over there, hydrogen here. Not sure what the middle one is for. But anyway, that's all been done. Now we just put our biofuel in and it should make this stuff. I don't know how much of either of these it needs. But it would appear to be <laughs> that we have uh, enough for that. Excellent. So now that has got to go into this one. And I believe we just need something alongside the oxygen. And that is liquid ethylene. And that is probably going to be uh, a whole bunch of fun as well. So we need this block to put in regular ethylene. And now I don't know how we make that. So it's a, a byproduct of making these things that you get the ethylene. So we pump that through into the rotary condenser, which converts it into the liquid stuff. And then here, you can't actually use either a pressurized tube or a pipe. You have to use something from a different mod, which might be a bug or an oversight. Uh, but with a fluid conduit, we can move from one side to the other. And now we have our liquid ethylene over here. And I think the only thing we're short of now is power so let's go and quickly just move that thing over to this side and it's doing it and we're going to complete because we just need one of those right please tell me it's just one ladies and gentlemen and we've done it and we can claim that reward and that means we've done all of the mechanism page over here which is fantastic and that is going to be where we end this episode so if you have enjoyed it then leave a like on the video as always thank you for your support and i'll see you in the next one bye bye to the toy hang on hang on I, I moved too quick it's hard to Oh, uh, no. oh, this is it. Here we go. Oh, oh you pushed me out. <laughs> you pushed me out, Biffa. I was enjoying my time in the toilet. Oh, no. That's just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh...